Hey guys, I'm down here at Berry BMW in Heathrow. I'm here because my good friend Lenny at Urban Automotive, formerly known as Lenny de Giza, is down here collecting his brand new BMW 3 Series from David King or Bimmer Deals on Instagram. Before we head in and check out Lenny's reaction to his brand new car, let's have a quick look at the car getting detailed and PPF'd at GV Detailing just down the road. Then we'll head in, chat to Lenny about his new car and then hopefully go out for a first drive. Enjoy. Look at those trainers then, yeah? Yeah, huh? yeah fresh out of the box <laughs> today from a fresh car. They're stealing the show, mate. Right? <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Yeah. Hopefully we can get this in one take. Alright, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. You ready? <laughs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Right then, Lenny. So how are you feeling, mate? I'm buzzing. Yeah. I'm buzzing. Collection day. <laughs> This is my first brand new car that I've, um, I've collected from a dealership as well, so it's another yeah, special day. I'm really, really happy. And obviously, Dave's been amazing throughout. Yep. Um, I need to say that, you know. Like, yeah. Oh, of course, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got that tenor in my pocket. Yeah, make sure I've got that first. Um, For those of you who don't know, that is uh, David King, Bimmer Deals, as I introed earlier on. Um, he uh, works down here at Bray BMW. So hit him up for any uh, really good BMW deals, etc. I'll put the links and stuff below in the description. But back to Lenny. So Lenny, aside from obviously watching all my videos, what convinced you to go for a BMW? <laughs> well, look, I mean, you know, I don't know if your viewers know, but I've had two Golf R's now. I had the Mark 7 Golf R in the Piz Blue and um, currently a black Mark 7.5 facelift Golf R. Yep. And I'll still stand by them as being one of the best hot hatches ever. But it does encourage you to drive you know, silly. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm a little bit grown out of it now. You know, I'm 36 in June, and I, I feel a little bit like I can't, I can't be seen in a hot hatch anymore. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know why, I don't know, but no, I always wanted something a little bit bigger, a little bit more chilled out. Yeah. Um, definitely something a little bit more, more luxurious. Yeah. And when we, me and David were speaking, because we always talk about the cars and stuff like that, and say the new G, G23 series was coming out, and I saw some pictures of it. I was like, well, that. That's a contender. Dave's a um, you know, BMW specialist, he knew what he was talking about. So I kind of left the, the spec. I said, look, black with black with black with, with more black. There is, I thought we all found one piece of chrome in here earlier on. <laughs> You're joking. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. That's a, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, <laughs> that is coming straight. That's off. coming off, yeah. And obviously, I work for Urban Automotive. We sell, you know, Range Rovers, G Wagons, Bentley Ventagas. And, you know, some customers want the full handover, sit with them for an hour, go through every single thing. But yeah. I leave that up to them. I always give them the option. I say, look, I can run this all through, or you can just discover the car yourself. And that's. <laughs> kind of what I want to do. You yeah, know? So yeah, that's yeah. That's the fun part about it, I think. I'm the same, mate. Yeah, no, I like to, I just, normally I've got no patience, so I just need to yeah, jump yeah, in yeah. anyway. Well, and, then, yeah. and just as you're about to trade it in, you're like, oh, wait, that's what this button <laughs> yeah. does. Damn. Yeah, you know, I've seen it on my Instagram a couple of times as well. It looks absolutely amazing straight out of the box. It looks like it's already been slightly tweaked, you know, the, with the shadow line. Is that the shadow line? Yeah, it's got the Yeah, so no, no chrome, yeah. it's got obviously the end performance. Um, styling for the 19s, yep. Um, all blacked out everywhere, lip spoiler. I love it. We'll play with it a little bit. I've already ordered the M performance front splitter, yeah. I work and what else? What else? Yeah, Lenny, anything else? I, <laughs> I, well. I work for one of the biggest modification companies. Of course, mate. I can't, I can't no. leave, it, leave it standard. But and I, to be fair, your Golf R was probably the best looking Golf R out there. It was, it was so simple. Just, yeah. Just um, lower it 20mm. Yeah. Um, 
widen it slightly on 10 mil spacers, a little splitter, and black. Just made all the it's difference. It's just nice, and that's exactly what I want to do with this. I, I want think it you've got such a good base with this. Yeah. Like yeah. Start, and I want it to kind of look, I want it to look OEM. I don't want it to look bassy. Those days of RS Turbo <laughs> lays and Tiger Stripes and stuff like that. <laughs> no, I'm not taking it down South Bend, but I've ordered some 20 inch niche wheels, but I'll put the BMW set of caps in the middle. Yeah. So, so it retains that OEM look. But, um, sure. But first impressions, and as soon as I saw the cover come off, I'm yeah, buzzing. That's yeah, I'm so happy for you. Nice, yeah. man. It's so, been a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we've been talking about it for what, nearly a year now? Yeah, because because the, that, yeah. the original idea was an F80 M3, but yeah. um, obviously that, that's coming out of production now. It's out of production yeah, now. Yeah, so finished up late um, last year, yeah. And I thought, you know, that would probably, yeah. And to be honest, it's, it's not a bad way to start your BMW journey, is absolutely it? Absolutely not, absolutely not. No. So um, I think it's the best entry car for a, a sort of semi-performance, but also sensible, you know, I do a 70 mile commute every day, so it's, um, yeah, it's perfect. Yep. It's perfect, I'm just looking forward to jumping in and then. He's yet to drive it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, well, why don't we all jump in? Shall we do Three that, of us. Yeah? I think, David, you could sit at the back in the middle, like yeah. like our love child. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, yeah, let's get first impressions. Yeah, perfect. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Perfect. There's a lot of cameras on me, Joe. They, they say what the, the camera adds like eight pounds or something. So that's like, if my max, <laughs> maths is correct, you're making me look double fat now. And I'm not happy about this. Well, can, you, can you not get the angle a little bit higher so you get sort of the, the, the chin down? What a liberty! These YouTubers, Dave. Honestly, <laughs> oh, these are the special ones. Wow. They make you look really. Slim. They do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Should have done yeah. a couple of press ups before. Yeah, yeah, oh, as, if, as if you didn't. I saw you doing some pull ups out there. That's so I'm hot and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't trust it. Oh, Oh, right. right, okay. Yeah, let's get some. Let's yeah, let's get, get let's get all this down. Yeah. See, I'm learning already, look. Learning already. Right, so just go for a drive then. Let's do it. Absolutely. Look at all this. this look. What? Uh, no. That's so sick. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. I'm the first back. back. That's cool. That's a proper like, yeah, show your mate sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, check this out. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to turn into such a nerd. I'm going to, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. Oh, it's so, it's so new and fresh. I don't even want to like. Right, okay. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Right, we're in. We are. Right, where am I going? What's the best route? Uh, take a left here, mate. Take a left, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout for the golf drivers. Yeah, I think golf drivers. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the saddest moments going through my Bluetooth menu. I'll oh, get rid of the get rid of the golf R Bluetooth. <laughs> get rid of that now. Yeah. Right. So first impressions. It's quiet. Yeah. And I do remember watching your YouTube video um, and. The, the, the sound insulation, they've massively improved that, haven't they? Yeah, like, it's all double glazing now. Yeah, was wow, acoustic like, glazing, it? Yeah, or acoustic, yeah, yeah. acoustic glass, Sorry. as BMW got. No, no. Yeah, See, no. Mr. BMW, he's on <laughs> yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. He's on point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it is very quiet, but then when you're, what you're in at the moment, you're just in comfort. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's a nice. I mean, it's. it's a, do you know what? And I, I, I keep going on about it because I did love that car, the golf, that, that golf. But this is a completely different level. It's the next step up. It feels so much more luxurious. Yeah. But also, you know, like the sporty as well. It's perfect. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Thanks, Dave. The drive's so smooth, isn't it? Yeah. It, it is amazing. It, it is really, Absolutely really amazing. good. And it feels, yeah, it feels very much like which way we're going to go here, uh, Dave. Go right on this roundabout. Yeah. yeah. It feels, yeah, like you said, it's as good. It feels as growing up as my 7 Series when you want it to be. Yeah. But then once you got it in sports and you got a bit of exhaust sound, you start booting it. Yeah. It feels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, typical BMW rear bench seat's never that great. It's, just, it's an emergency. It's not very tacky, though, is it? No, it's for your kids. Um, that's why we got David in there. <laughs> wow. The branding should just be in shot, mate. Perfectly. See that, yeah. So what's your car history then, Lenny? I mean, you've had like a couple of golf cars recently. Yeah, so um, I haven't got a huge golf. I haven't got a huge hit car history because um, I, I did about eight years of company cars, bo yeah. boring diesel company cars. I worked in London, um, worked for a company supplying survey equipment, 
um, so like cross rail and stuff like that. So I needed, you know, a, a diesel company car. I had the uh, the Vauxhall Insignia SRI LP130 Superleggera Double XL Edition. <laughs> Did you just make that name up? <laughs> so I, I had the, but no, I mean, we're going that's way a back. That's a, that's a genuine one-off car, yeah. yeah. Um, going way back, at my first car was a, a Mark III Fiesta XR2i in radiant red. Right. Which I wrote off. Um, very quickly because it was it was a silly car to have for your first car when I was 17 because it was a sporty little number yeah um, then from that I bought a 1.1 Fiesta shell and put everything on it okay um, and then when I was 19 I bought a Series 2 Escort RS Turbo nice. um, which that that started my love for for fast forwards and classic forwards all my mates were a little bit older than me so they had um they could afford the insurance for the sapphire cosworth yeah yeah, which yeah. back then um you know you could pick up for about four grand 400 brake horsepower we used to run to south end and beat most cars that were worth 30 40 50. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, well that was the m5 of the day exactly yeah. yeah i mean they were they were awesome things so yeah that was so fast forwards have still got a special place in my heart i mean if i had a spare 50 grand just kicking about it'd be an escort cosworth that's what I'd, you know I'd, I'd love but yeah yeah you, the thing is, it's that balance, isn't there, between going with your heart and going with your head. And, yeah. you know, my 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 heart said, just get an F80 M3. You've always wanted one. Um, they look awesome, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then my head said, well, look, this new model's out now. You don't really need an M3 for every day. Um, and this is, like, the perfect happy medium. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so from the RS Turbo, I had a Mark III Golf GTI that I instantly put on coilovers and 18s and everything else. Um... And then from there, it was just, like I say, white vans, company yep. cars, insignias, Mondeos, you know, the, the, the boring Repmobile stuff. Yeah. So my car history, my own car history, isn't that extensive, really. You know, as much as I respect um, Japanese cars, like the Nissan GTR and stuff like that, Yeah. I, I still, you know, I'm German all the time. Yeah. You know, yeah, whether yeah, it's yeah, Mercedes, yeah. Audi, or BMW. But now, after seeing all this new tech and seeing what BMW are doing, yeah. and now seeing this new G. Uh, G20 shape I can't wait to see what the M3 is like and that's where my heart might take over again and yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. ringing I'll be ringing David up going got any of them in yet mate <laughs> <laughs> what will you give me on mine <laughs> it's going to be one of those sort of situations isn't it but yeah. um, no but for now I don't think I, I could have picked a better a better choice this is just absolutely lovely so, yeah 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 no really happy really happy yeah, I know what you mean about the F. I mean, you know, I've always wanted the M3. And now I've got that engine in my M2, and I have to say the one problem with it, and you you said you do a lot of miles. Yeah. The one problem with the S55 that's in the M, the new M2 comp and the M3 and the M4 is it is so thirsty, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like honestly, you never see like twenties. It's always below that. Yeah. And uh, and no matter how much money you've got. Like it's just a pain in the arse oh, no, going absolutely. to the petrol yeah. station all yeah. the time, isn't yeah. it? Um, and I mean, the Golf was, I mean, I was getting around 27, 28 in yeah. the Golf. That was fairly sensible as well. Yeah. But, you know, once you're into your cars and once you're a boy racer, you will never get that out. I'm a 35-year-old married man with a beautiful wife, and if a Civic Type R goes past me, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not having that. No. I'm not having it. <laughs> Um, and then so she starts moaning, you want to grow up, yeah. and you know, and that's why I, you know, that's why I sort of come out of the hot hatches. But yeah. the best thing about this is that it's, you know, it's got enough there for me on, when I'm on, my, you know, the occasional time I'm on my own on a B road and I can chuck it about a bit and just have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Um, but it's a nice, big, sensible car that get me to and from work, and you know. And it looks so cool. It looks a business. Yeah, yeah. Well, mate, I'm 40 in September, so and, I, really? and I still drive like I don't, I'm, I'm worse than that. But then I don't have a wife, so maybe, yeah. that, maybe that's why. Mate, they keep control of you, Stacey. <laughs> Stacey. <laughs> nah, to be to be fair, she's really she's she's really laid back. She's really cool. She knows. You know, I love cars, um, yeah. and you, I mean, she's five eleven as well. So when I used to take back Lamborghini Huracans and stuff for the weekend, yeah. she was so miserable because they're so small inside. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that, I mean, not exactly the worst problems I have. Yeah, my Lamborghini, <laughs> Hur my La Lamborghini Huracan is too small. <laughs> yeah, first world problems. Yeah, yeah, nice. But um, cars like that, um, they're to enjoy with you. With your mates mostly because the, yep. the the wife doesn't want to put you know get your foot down and stuff like that. No, 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 no. No, it looks amazing already, but I just can't drive a standard car. I'm just waiting for these wheels to come. <laughs> get those twenties on. Get the splitter on. Yeah. You know, now and he's turned up in that that M performance one. Like, what was he doing ruining my yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> stealing your thunder. Just absolutely <laughs> stealing my thunder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And this has got a roof. I mean, I, I miss... Nice. I do want it. Oh, so ladies, this is chucking me back Oh, there you the go. Yeah, no, that's come on. Um, yeah, the roof is... Uh, I miss having a roof. I've always had roofs in all my BMs. and my M2, I didn't get it because I thought it was an M car. I yeah. didn't have a roof. But I really miss... We can't, we're coming up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really miss having a roof this time of year. Yeah. Um, and they've opened it. We were talking about this early on. They, it's, it's a bigger... Of, it's, it's but bigger. it's going to say the standard sunroof in a panoramic roof, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which is really handy. It lets a lot of light into the cabin. Yeah. It's good, it for, feels really good for filming. Yeah, it feels really good <laughs> in here as well. So I'm six foot and I've got plenty of plenty of headroom. Yeah, yeah, you actually have. And I'm sat in the middle here, which is yeah, on the transmission. As well. Yeah, on the right on the transmission tunnel. Right, so we're getting back to Barry BMW now, and uh, first drive is over and done with. Lenny just wants to get out of here and go and enjoy it now get in the sunshine. Get out, yeah. get out of my he car. Wants to get <laughs> get out of my car. Two overgrown <laughs> children out of the car. Just giggling get about his all the new features and stuff. Here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, but mate, massive congratulations. Thank you very man. much, man. Yeah. Thank you very and much. David. Yeah, yeah thanks, pleasure, David. Thank You're you, welcome, mate. mate. As I say, guys, check out the description below. Obviously, Give Lenny a follow on Insta and stuff if you don't already, but I'm sure most of you know who he is. Um, absolute character, lovely bloke in real life too. Um, and yeah, make I've sure got, you check that out. That tenner you gave me to say <laughs> nice things about you, I've got to give that back now. <laughs> oh, I wanted 20 quid. But... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, take it easy. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this. Um, thanks, everyone. See you later. Cool.